guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. And in today's video, as you can see by the title, we're doing a Q&A because it is the seventh and last episode of Tea Day for a little while. Initially, Tea Day was just a January thing, but then I realized there were only four Tuesdays. <laughs> Who would have thought in January? So I was like, okay, I should probably do a few more. Um, but I think tea day will still be a thing, but just every now and then when there's a topic that you guys really want me to spill the tea on, I thought a really good way to finish off this little series would be to let you guys lead it and chat about what you want to chat about with a shot fire q and A. What I've tried to do is not read the questions beforehand so that as I read them out and answer them, it's genuinely like my first reaction to the questions. That was probably a really silly thing to do, but we will find out right now. <laughs> so why don't you grab yourself a cuppa, I'm about to do just that, and sit back and enjoy this Q&A. Now that we have a cuppa, let's start. Okay, first question is from Casey, thank you so much Casey for your message. What got you into fitness stuff and why? I got into fitness through school and athletics, so you know in school when you do like athletics days and track days, those were the best days ever, I loved them, I was really fast and I started doing um, multi events and sprints and hurdles and basically athletics, so that's how I got into fitness, it was through athletics. Coffee machine, do you use please? Thanks so much, you're fab. Love Jay. Thank you Jay, you're fab. Feel like it's a DeLonghi something. I'll find out exactly which one and just put like a little picture in and maybe like a link in the description if I can find one. It's a proper coffee machine that can like, you know, do the, the coffee. Mmm. Uh, maybe I'll do a video. If you want a video on like literally the whole coffee machine and how it works and the things that I love and don't love as much about it, then let me know because I was so excited about that investment um, and I would recommend it, but also you probably need to be aware of some things about it. But anyway, yeah, that's the coffee machine that I have. My next question is from Mandy. Mandy says, how has your journey through medicine been so far? Girl, my journey through medicine so far has been a bumpy one in terms of medicine is a big commitment and it asks a lot of you um so in first year i really was so like i was not focused with it since i've started working it has also been like a roller coaster of emotions of going from doing really well and like low-key saving someone or like doing exactly what you need to do and feeling really happy having great interactions with families and feeling amazing to being completely overworked um, so it's quite a bumpy one but I would say that it's 100% been worth it and it's a great job. Next question is from Kate Boss. How did you start weightlifting yourself and putting together routines that yielded actual results? Love your videos and your overall positive attitude. Thank you so much Kate Boss and I love your name. Is that your real surname? Because that's pretty badass Kate Boss. I started weightlifting when I was about 15 and that was with athletics so you need to build strength in order to be able to sprint so that's how I started. So I had a really good coach um, who taught me how to um, clean, how to squat, how to deadlift and all the rest um, which was really good. Then I stopped for a super long time and I really did have to relearn it. I still remembered like the core things about technique and stuff which is good but I had to relearn it and I did that by reading. I literally anytime I'm trying something new I read up on the exercise the correct form of doing it um, and I practice it from there. Um, filming myself helps a lot because I don't have a coach at the moment so I think it's really important sometimes to be able to see yourself do something and cr critique it. So I basically just tried a load of things and started putting them together um, to get the results that I wanted. As I would try different things I knew what was helping and what wasn't and eventually I kind of whittled that down so I found that um, doing high intensity workouts helped a lot. It made me lose a lot of body fat. Doing weights helped a lot. It made me lose a lot of body fat and just get really defined lean, leaner muscles. So it was a bit of a mix and match trial and error. Right now I'm still changing it up. Next question is from Keela. Where do you think you'd be in 10 years time? Oh my goodness, Keela! That's a huge question! That is a big question. Um, that's actually really like apt and to the point of my life right now and I will when I figure this out I will do a big video on it because I think it's so relevant because I've been going through what I would I like to call I don't want to claim it but pretty much like a like a quarter life crisis praying about this so much and really like that's be that's like my focus right now is like what am I what am I doing in my life <laughs> which sounds a bit dramatic but yeah so when you ask me where do I see myself in 10 years time 
I don't know how to answer that. So I'm 24 now, I would be 34 in 10 years. One thing I really want to see myself be, I still want to be passionate and have that silly faith. I think that's something that I really want to keep up because I think sometimes life can knock that out of you. You can get cynical, you can get, you can you can be disappointed by things and, and you don't, you're not still, you don't still have that fire and that passion. I really hope that in 10 years time, I'm someone who is passionate and, and like fearless. I really hope that. Be I feel like my mother would love me to be married. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always, I always bait out my mother about things like this, but I would really like to be married and in a great marriage at that age, I think. Although 10 years ago, when I was 14, I used to think that I would be married by 24 and um, not quite married yet. Probably with a child. That's so crazy to think. Imagine having a child. Oh my goodness, it's like a huge responsibility. Those are the two things, I guess. I'd like to think I'd, someone had like fallen in love with me and I had fallen in love with them and we'd gotten married and I was still a positive person. The cafe is refilled and we're ready to go. Next question is from Abigail. Hi Sarah. Hi Abigail, thank you so much for your question. Yeah. How did you manage to get good grades and some studying tips would be helpful too? Also, could you recommend certain workouts for beginners? Thank you. No, thank you, Abigail. Ah, oh, you make me smile. Um, how did I manage to get good grades? Number one, it was a priority. I prioritised good grades. Friends are amazing, parties are fun, but good grades are important, so prioritise it like time-wise is one thing that I did. Studying tips that really helped me is to test yourself. I actually did a paper on this at university and some research into how the mind learns best. The process of attempting to recall information actually helps us to remember it better. So we actually remember stuff more when we test ourselves on it than when we reread something. So instead of just reading your notes over and over again and hoping it'll stick, actually test yourself and see if it will stick because you'll be learning more in the process of doing that. So past papers is one study tip that I would really recommend and I did loads. Recommend certain workouts for beginners. For beginners I would say we're really lucky with YouTube. Home workout DVDs are so great because actually walking into a gym when you have no experience of exercising is really intimidating and you can have all the goofy moments and all the sweaty, getting comfortable with being sweaty and tired and breathless. You can do that in the comfort of your own home. Many of these people online are super experienced and know what they're talking about so you literally have someone right there who can talk you through. Yeah I think that home workouts are a great way of starting. And my next question is from Megan. Hi Megan, thank you for leaving a question. It says, what's your weekly workout routine and how does it work along with your schedule? That is a great question because this last week my weekly workout routine has been non-existent so I've been so ill. I've actually changed up my workout routine recently and I still am in the process of doing so so I'll do like a more defined video on that when I actually figure it all out. My go-to workout plan will be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. If I'm doing four days, that's what I aim to do. If I'm feeling a bit adventurous, I'll add in Friday. If I'm feeling quite tired, I will skip the Tuesday or the Thursday. So I'll, I'll do between three and five days a week. The way that I manage this with my schedule is um, that I write, I write my schedule in advance so I know that if I'm gonna be on call, I can switch the days around. My next question is from Rejoice. Thank you so much for your question, Rejoice. She says, could you tell us about how you came to Christ? Of course I can. I don't have one of those really exciting, like, dramatic stories. Or maybe it is exciting, because I came to know Christ either way. Um, but I grew up in a Christian family. My parents both Christians. We always went to church and stuff. And, yeah, God's always been, like, my best friend. I believe that God has seen me through, like, every situation. Like, God is always there for me, answers my prayers. I have faith. I'm a Christian. I'm born again, saved. I believe in Jesus. I read my Bible. I pray um, and yeah so that I'm sorry that's a really non-dramatic story of how I came to know Christ if you're not a Christian you're watching this and you're like Sarah how do you believe in God how are you so great I would actively invite you to read the Bible read the book of John with an open mind and ask God um, to speak to you if and let you know if he is real and in my experience God is very real and he really does love you and care about you and he loves me and cares about me too and it's the best thing ever and I would never change it. Last but definitely not least question is from Toby who says, question, it's a bit of a weird one but it's in regards to fitness and being a Christian, ooh, like I know going to the gym and eating well will eventually result in good health but more so a gorgeous body, do you ever feel like pride can get in the way with that new body? Mm, I love it okay love it yes let's spill the tea I don't think I struggle with pride in terms of my body like I don't think I've ever gone out and thought oh my gosh my body is the best like I'm 
you know, I, I don't think I've ever struggled with that. As a Christian, how do I balance the desire for a hot bod with being a Christian. Is that is that fair to say? I hope that I've not interpreted that wrong. And that's definitely something I've asked myself. I really don't think that there is anything sinful about beauty. I think the world is beautiful. Like if you look at a sunset, it is one of the most, probably the most beautiful thing ever created. Like there's so much beauty in this world that I just, can't even get my head around it. It's healthy to work out and to look after ourselves and to eat well. I think that self-discipline is something that we should really honour as Christians. Like in the Bible when Paul talks about as an athlete disciplines themselves to run the race so that so that we do in this life. That's how we live our lives as Christians. So I think that actually that discipline is something that we should really look for as Christians. Fat or skinny, God still loves us. And I think that actually we can overthink it in that way. I don't think that that defines how much God loves you. I don't think it defines how much you love God. I hope that's answered your question. Sorry if I I got it wrong um, and if you do want a video on that where I've actually had time to think it through and you know make a bit more sense then let me know in the comments and that is it for today's video thank you so much to everyone who asked a question thank you for everyone who's been watching throughout this series I am so grateful for you guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what other videos you want to see and I will see you guys in my next video bye